My website traffic started to explode once I started doing this. What's up guys, Teo here, and I'm gonna to talk to you about what every website owner should do. If you have a blog, if you have a service website, if you're selling products on a Shopify store, what every single website owner should do if you're looking to get traffic from Google. And it's actually very, very simple. Now, most of you guys know, in order to get traffic from Google, you either have to pay for it through Google ads or you have to get it from Google search engines, which is organic traffic. Now, uh, the second part to that is that if you're trying to get traffic from Google search, which is free traffic, what's gonna end up happening is that Google may take a very long time to index your website on Google, right? So it may take you like a week, two months. What I've seen is anywhere from three to six months for new pages and new blog pages that you've written to actually show up on Google. So what we're ranking for today was actually from the pages that we were we created about six months ago. And so that caused uh, a lot of uh, trouble for us because we wanted to get traffic a lot faster and we were paying for all of these SEO writers and we are actually doing all these like SEO um, AI articles as well. And so we were trying to get this traffic to our websites a lot quicker. So what I did was I looked into Google indexing. So I wanted to see how we can get our pages indexed on Google much quicker. Now there is an easy way to do that and it's by using Google Search Console. So with you, Google Search Console, you can input your URL and go into the URL inspector and request Google to index that website for you. Now this took a long time, okay? We either had our VAs do it manually, every single page that we create, we would go into Google Search Console and request Google to index that website. Um, or we use a tool called Auto Page Rank. And so what that tool did was that automatically, every single time we created a new blog post, whether today, tomorrow, or the next week, or whatever it may be, it's going to automatically pick up that new page and actually submit it to Google's Search Console through Google's API. And so we don't have to lift the finger. We don't have to worry about, you know, oh, we created a new post, or oh, we updated a new post. We don't have to worry about any of those things because it's going to be automatically put into Google's search console for submission so that it could get indexed on Google. So let me show you real quick how this works, how you can use auto page rank to get your websites indexed quicker on Google. All right, so the very first thing that you need to do is you need to go into Google search console and sign up for a free account. All you have to do is put in your domain, enter your domain, and it's gonna give you instructions on how to link your domain to Google search console and you have to do that through the DNS records. So it's actually very simple. Um, all you have to do, go into your DNS records, for example, godaddy.com, change a few things, and then uh, you're connected to Google Search Console. That's pretty much it. So now that you are connected, this is what Google Search Console looks like. It's going to show you your performance over here, your website's traffic over time. Now, if you, if you just connected your Google Search Console, nothing's gonna show up. It's just gonna be blank. But over a week or so, you're going to start seeing some uh, some graphs and you're going to start seeing some traffic and things like that. If you have if you're on Google, you're going to start seeing those things. So what you're seeing here is pretty much how much how many clicks I'm getting um, on average on a daily basis. So, you know, it's around like about 100 clicks or so to my website on a daily basis to my website, stealthagents.com. Now, I talked about URL inspection. This is where you would. Uh, input your URL. So once you've created your website, you would go to URL inspection, which is up here, plug in that URL. Okay, so in this case, let's say this URL right here, appointment setters, and then I would uh, request indexing. Okay, so this is how you would get your website or your web page indexed on Google uh, pretty quickly, sometimes within 24 to 78 hours. Now, of course, if you don't want to do this for every single website or every single web page that you create, let's say you're creating blog content okay you're updating your website's pages you're creating new pages you're creating new product pages and service pages and things like that and you don't want to continue to go here and request indexing especially for you bloggers out there then you would use a tool like auto page rank okay so let me actually just show you it, go to we're going to go to pages here 
And let me actually show you when I started auto page rank, which is roughly right around here and when, um, and, and how it's going right now. So, so far, okay. I started auto page rank right around this area right here, um, where, you know, I only had around like 400 or so pages index. The moment I started auto page rank, I went from 484 pages index on Google to 755 the next day. And this is because now my pages are getting indexed quicker on Google. It's not taking months and months to get indexed. So you might have pages right now that's not indexed on Google. Uh, and so the problem here is that you're not getting traffic for these pages that you've built. Uh, even if it like, you know, even if you have like blog posts and things like that, you're not going to get traffic until months later or even years later when Google decides to index your pages, not until you go into the URL inspection and request for indexing. So auto page rank, what it does is it automatically indexes any new pages that I have going on on my website. Okay. So we went from, you know, January 1st, 484 to all the way within like about, let's say about two months, February 23rd to 1600 pages index on Google. So you can imagine how many keywords I was missing out on because I didn't have these pages indexed on Google. And so that's what auto page rank does. So let's go head over to auto page rank and let me show you how that works. So once you sign up for auto page rank, you're going to click on get started with auto indexing and it's going to take you to a page where it has instructions on how to uh, connect your Google cloud account with auto page rank. Okay. So it's actually very, very simple. Um, once you've done that, then you're going to have your, you're going to click on synchronize websites from Google search console. And it's going to show up right here where, you know, all of my websites on my uh, Google search console is going to show up right here. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on auto index. So what this does is this will automatically index any new pages that show up on my website on a daily basis. So we're creating content on here on a daily basis essentially. And so every page that shows up, we're going to index that on Google. So if I click on this, I'm going to see index web pages. So first, when you, when you first join, you're not going to have any of these pages indexed. It's going to show an X on there. Okay. And so what you do is you're going to click on index web pages and it's going to start to index all of those web pages that you have. And let me show you here at the, towards the end. So it's uh, tw February 27th. This is exact same day as today. So it's today, it looks like it indexed all of these pages for me. Okay. Now, another cool thing is let's see how fast these web pages get indexed. So I'm not going to do today. I might do today. Let's go into some, uh, a web page that was indexed on February 26th. Okay. It was submitted on, um, auto page index, auto page rank on February 26th. So let's go ahead and copy this and we're going to go on Google. I'm going to type in site colon and then the website URL. Okay. And so it's, it seems like it's not indexed yet. Okay. Let's actually take a look at another one here. Let's go back a little bit further. Let's take a look at this one here. Maybe it's, you know, sometimes it takes 24 to 48 hours, sometimes seven, 24 to 72 hours. Let's take a look. So 26, none of these pages indexed yet. Let's take a look on the 25th. Let's see if this one was paid indexed. Okay, here we go. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Let me actually just take this, break this apart. There we go. Okay. So we, here we go. So two days ago, this page was indexed. So it does take anywhere from 24 to 78 hours. So let's click on this page right here. 75 business compliance evaluation questions. And we wrote this February 25th. Okay. That was two days ago. And this page is already indexed on Google. I mean, how cool is that? Right? Let's take a look at another one here on the 25th. Let's take a look at this one. We're going to grab this. We're going to go back to Google and just replace this with that. And here we go. Two days ago. Okay. Let's actually take a look at today. Sometimes some of these websites actually do get indexed, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to count on it, but within 24 to 78 hours. So that one wasn't indexed because it was just submitted earlier this morning, but the ones on two days ago and possibly even like a day ago are already indexed. So let's take a look at another one right here and see if it's indexed yet. Okay, here we go. So this one was indexed and this was uh, submitted at 1.50 a.m. on February 26th. So that was yesterday. And so within 24 hours, uh, it's already indexed on Google. So let's open this up. 
And let's take a look here. 40 supply chain reliability assessment questions. Okay, February 26, and we're already on Google. Okay, we're already on Google here. Um, so what that means is that now that we're on Google, we're visible on Google. Now Google can actually rank our website for some of these keywords. So let me show you what happened to my website, how it blew up in the past month or so after using auto uh, page rank. Okay, so let's go over here. All right, so now we're gonna take a look. So I have keywords over here and traffic over here, 6.3 thousand keywords, 3.5 thousand visitors. So now we can see over here. Um, so let me show you this. These were pages that took a long time for me to index, right? As you can see right here. These were pages that essentially took a very long time for me to index. Like right here, it took me, you know, I had 75 pages or so. And then as I added more uh, pages, I started getting more organic traffic. Again, added more pages, more organic traffic. And just recently, right here, okay, when I use auto page, uh, auto page rank back in December ish, like towards the end of December, I started to see all of my pages from 100, so about 200 ish pages to now over 500 pages indexed on Google. So what do you think is going to happen to my traffic in the next, you know, in the next two months, three months, it's going to explode. And so I'm going to create another um, follow up video to show you guys how well this is working. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is you need to actually get your pages indexed on Google, which is the hardest part. And I've noticed that for some of my websites, without auto page rank, it takes about three to six months to get most of these pages indexed on Google. With auto page rank, it's taking me 24 to 78 hours for my pages to get indexed on Google. That's amazing. I mean, the first step to getting traffic, again, is getting your websites indexed on Google. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a lot of value. Head over to autopagerank.com, sign up, and start getting your pages indexed. It doesn't, you, now you could also have multiple pages on here. What it does is this will submit to 200 pages per day. So you could have, you know, one or two or three websites on here. And if all of those websites are connected to your Google Search Console, it will go through auto page rank, uh, rank as well. And it's going to index those websites on Google as well. Um, up to 200 pages per day. So if you have, you know, five websites, 10 websites, it's unlimited websites, as long as it's one Google search console uh, submitting 200 pages per day using Google's API. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Go out there, go get some traffic.